Claire ain't been around. Can't just leave her alone. Don't ask me why. You, you've got this. <sighs> See, Junpei's a bro, dude. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah. Class has ended for. Ugh, finally, I can talk to fucking Yuko. Jesus. I want to max out her social links soon. And you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, It's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? An instructor? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end, and I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Sick. Give me one moment. Okay. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. I don't know. Oh, why? Why are you so nice to me? Oh, are you romance like this flag? Just with me? Yeah, nah, we're 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 going platonic. Yeah, of course. I Damn. sure am lucky to have such a good friend who's so kind and reliable. Though sometimes you worry me a little. Sometimes you say suggestive things with a straight face, you know? I get the feeling you might give someone the wrong idea. So you should really be careful about that. It could land you in some hot water. Okay. That's the way. Take my advice to heart. Sorry, this isn't what I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you again for coaching with me. I'm glad I had someone like you to rely on. Next time, I'll be there to support you. Nice. If there's anything I can Rank help nine. with, just let me know, okay? We're friends, aren't we? I'm gonna head out. Gotta work on my modern literature and English today. See ya. All right. Skip. Oh, you're back. All right, let's go hang out with fucking oh shit. Wait, 
Right now the Temperance Archon. I don't have access yes. to the Temperance Archon. Oh, Senpai. Can I help you? I'd like to talk. With me? Okay, but why so suddenly? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. I'll do that. You're really caring, Senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh, come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. <sighs> um, you wouldn't happen to be hung. Welcome. Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow, a spinoff with Swallow as the main character. I gotta make sure I record that. Yeah, I watch it every week without fail. But this TV special is big news. Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk. Uh, I uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. Oh, I guess it's because God. I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to, and the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... <sighs> um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Damn, kids fucking Jesus. Hey, Amara! You on your way home? Us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amada kun Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, Amada. You gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. Oh, uh, give me one second. Important I'll have call. To pass. All right. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on. We can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no. It... 
I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, Amata-kun. Home. Come on. Let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. But mom, if Amata doesn't <sighs> sorry join about us, that. we're gonna get <sighs> No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the dorm. We're literally right, of, right outside of the dorm. Academics. Wow, that was so worth it. What what was worth the slight academic points? Hanging out with a fucking Amada? Or Ken, sorry? Uh, nah. Mid. That was sarcasm, by the way. Attention, I actually please. don't mind, though. So that's why. Mid. Huh? Yes! I didn't even need a guy for that one. Thanks, man. All right. We are probably going to end this one here for today. See you guys in the next one. Oh, shit. Never mind. Yo, Chitarita. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on. He calls it that a lot in here. Sonic, you, by the way. I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting Yeah, finished. but probably more okay with that later that, on. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. Can you guys leave the fucking room? Jesus, give them a moment. Why the are they just like sitting there and staring? Yeah, give them a moment. Holy shit. Any luck? She finally started talking. Oh yeah, is this when she's she gonna get fucking choked out? So far. Well, you start. remember that, right? More of a response than we got from her. I don't. So, uh. why are you here? Yeah. Shidori, what's wrong? What is that? There's something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <sighs> Shidori! Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens. Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh, I... Junpei? Oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. It's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> You're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But 
the side effects. <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think Doing this in public is crazy. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <laughs> Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. And the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. Alright guys, on that note we're gonna end it here. Uh, see you in the next one. Later.